in the middle of Hollywood at Hollywood I um on Sunset Boulevard and Vine. So it's famous corner of Sunset and Vine. The focal point of that corner has been the Pacific Cinerama Dome, which is a dome shaped screen theater. It's been there for many, many, many years. Yeah, it's been there like 70 years, 80 years. It's been there a long time. So above that, they built some smaller se a series of other theaters called the Arclight Cinema. And uh, at 9.30, they're showing a film, a documentary film called Behind the Curve. It's about flat earthers and what they believe. It features Mark Sargent and Patricia Steer. And... Um, it's sort of fascinating. It's just not exciting like we thought. We thought we were going to get a flat earth film out of it um, when we signed releases in support of it. And um, not. it wasn't designed uh, in our favor. It was designed to be neutral. So that was shocking for us. So wait, 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 wait. It gets a lot of bad press, but I spoke to the guy today and thanked him for making it because uh, I thought it was fair and honest. It speaks to psychology. Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can't hit there. Never mind. Psychology. It speaks to psychologists and other professionals about people that believe different things. It admits that we're smart, inquisitive, clearly capable. They feel that we went down the hallway and made a left instead of a right, that we went into the wrong school. That's what they think. They they believe in our passion. They believe in us, even um, because they can see it in our eyes. But they they do find us to be mistaken, which is comical. It's comical, and it's hard for anyone to look at themselves or to look at what they believe. And maybe um, there's something special about us. You know whether we had strange childhoods or or whatever it is that allowed us to view our world instead of be blind to our world that's what we have in common is that we're we're able to think because it's been drilled out of us drilled out of us multiple choice doesn't require thinking i mean it's good to be excited don't get me wrong but uh getting agitated that never helps but being exciting, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. It's a good trait to have. And we're both really, 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 really excited about this. And we're, uh, so you know, we get to go out. Anyway, go to this movie tomorrow. Tell them some more about what's going on. The film was made as a documentary. It was, it was originally premiered in Canada at a festival called Hot Docs as a documentary. They were very lucky to get in the L.A. Film Festival as um a late entry uh a film festival here is a way that things like netflix or hbo or such can buy content so it's featured as part of a shopping mall sort of a flea market for films so to be featured here is very valuable to them but there was no one here to represent it so i was so proud to say hey let's do a meetup here let's go to our little meetup.com thing and invite people. I think there's 12 or 13 people that have signed up there. Plus there's other people that have tickets that are going in and uh, not sure that there's going to be any press or media. And now that I've notified them that we're going to be there in numbers, they can invite press or media because it was really just going to be the filmmakers alone. And they're probably tired of being bashed. Um, because they're being bashed from both sides, uh, both the people that think it's um, silly and by flat earthers. So it's not um, it's not a flat earth film. And it's, it's sold out. Oh, it's sold, sold out. out. It's not a flat earth film, really. It's a film about um, why would people believe something that's not normal? And it's fascinating in itself. At one point, it shows... Um, our meetup compared to an astronomer's meeting and they were going on at the same time and they took two cameras and simultaneously showed their meeting and our meeting and they had t-shirts and they had facts and numbers and they stayed up late for stuff and they it was the same for them it was interesting so 
Um, what people believe is certainly important. It leads to things like politics and religion that I, I'd rather leave up to the, you know, to goodwill and good fortune and good karma. Um, I'd love for a utopian society. I don't see it, but I'm going to tell you that working together has been great for us. This film got made as a documentary. It had to be made. It's an honest documentary. It's not favorable of flat earthers. It's an honest documentary of people that believe one in a hundred at best, one in a thousand. So it, it's, it's portrays us as odd. And um, I got to speak in it. I'm really proud. Um, I got to hold up a T-shirt that I made that says, laugh all you want. We live on a stationary plane. And I say um, that I get a quote that I say, science is different than the shit they believe in. And I love the quote. And I love that we can stand for what we can see, measure, feel. Um, what's that stuff that Dell said? Dell says it best, right? Don't talk shit. Observable, repeatable, yeah, predictable. Yeah. That's like a hero to us because he's the only one that makes sense. Everyone else says what they believe. Fuck right. that. Yeah, I'm with you, Dan, man. I, I want to see it. I want to measure it. Um, I want to take a photograph of it. And... Speculation. Conjecture. Oh, nice. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. I don't want to uh, speculate. It's kind of sometimes it's fun to just kind of throw out ideas. Okay, we're... Um, you know, it could be this, could be that, whatever. But when it gets down to brass tacks, water's always level, period. Polaris yeah. never moves, period. Give me those so, two. I can measure those, man. The film only briefly goes there, and it, uh, I mean, super briefly goes there. And it spends a lot of time trying to portray Mark and Patricia as a couple. And um, it does th go through some other people, um, like Nathan Thompson. Uh, Chris Pontius, Bob Nodell, um, Patricia Steer, and um, follows them all around. And they followed for over 200 hours worth of footage for several months. They followed these people around. And it was a low-budget film that got made. And it's a pretty honest portrayal of what's been going on here. And um, we're going to go in support of, of the film to sort of do the same thing that we're doing is saying there are flat earthers. There they are. You want to ask them something? Go ahead. Fortunately, we got answers. We're not silly and we just have to convince them. It's their math. We're not, we're not really not making up anything. They believe us to be silly and we're fixing that by getting in their face and saying, no, we're not silly. Here I am. Don't laugh. Here I am. Laugh all you want. We live on a stationary plane. 